Hello and welcome back. And uh, in this video, we are going to be creating our uh, birthday list. Okay, so get, let's go ahead and get started. So what we're going to do is uh, basically um, going to create first our observable object. So so observed object. Basically, this is the counterpart of observable object. Uh, and uh, if you remember, we created our uh, list view model as observable object so in order to observe any changes into that we're going to create observed object and we're going to call this one birthday um birthday view model and we're going to observe that okay and uh, we're also going to create a state uh property and this one is going to be basically used to present add new. All right, initial value is going to be false. Uh, let's also initialize. Um, let me see what's uh, birthday list list view model. Okay. Uh, it's not going to be per day view model. Per day view model is not observable. Uh, per day view, view model is this uh, uh, view model that we use in per day list view model that actually has published property. So that's what uh, it was complaining about. So, uh, okay, let's remove any extra spaces. And we're going to have an initializer. Initializer is basically to remove. Uh, any UI table view related stuff like you know we're gonna uh, replace footer with UI view so list actually is backed by UI table view and uh, it has uh, no in like um, list or swift UI way to basically remove separator or change the background color and stuff like that so we can actually um, we're going to set it on UI table views appearance in order to achieve that. So we are simply going to say UI table view dot appearance dot table view footer table footer view. And don't worry if it doesn't show up. Uh, it doesn't show up at all uh, for the uh, entire sense anyways. Uh, insert UI. So if I type table, uh, as you can see, it's not showing up, but it is there. So if you go on your storyboard uh, based project and try to try type this, you're going to get that. So that's how you know which property to set um, for for table view. And you can just bring it over here. We're also going to set the background to be UI color dot clear color and uh, UI table view cell appearance we're also gonna set that and we're gonna say selection style is none okay let's go ahead and build and see if there's any okay mistake okay cool so it should build now okay now let's go ahead and uh, type out our body so we're gonna first create our navigation view okay although we are creating our navigation view we're gonna actually hide the navigation bar and we're gonna create our own navigation bar so let's go ahead and create a v stack here inside that create a z stack and the C stack is going to have alignment as bottom trailing. Then we're going to create a header. So let's go ahead and, and create a birthday header struct. So birthday header uh, we're going to create. Okay. So let's go ahead and 
forget this. I'm gonna remove preview as again. Birthday header. It's gonna be view. And for the body, it's simply gonna have a restack, which is gonna have a text called. So let's see if we can launch. Emoji uh, browser here. Okay, so the shortcut for emoji browser is Control Command Space. Okay, you hit that, and uh, then you can search uh, basically cake, for example. So I'm gonna insert cake, and I say birthday, and then I'm gonna search. Um, Maybe celebration. There we go. And input this one for change. There we go. Okay. Let's close this and let's give it some properties. So we're going to say font is equal to last title. Foreground color is going to be white. Frame is going to have max width as infinity and max height as 60. It's going to have a background and this background is going to have simply a rectangle that's going to be filled with color.clear. And then edges, ignoring safe area, all. Okay. Let's go ahead and build it and see if there's any issue. Okay. All good. So our header is now being recognized. Um, that is good. So we're going to give it some padding at top and uh, 50. Okay. And uh, now we're going to create a button in this. And this button is going to have action. And the action is going to be basically self dot add new presented dot toggle. So this is how we can actually launch our add new uh, sheet. Okay. And uh, for the content, it's going to have an image system name and the image name is plus dot circle font is going to be of title type foreground color is going to be white and uh, then we're going to add some padding and padding is going to be trailing and bottom Twenty points, okay, and uh, then we want to present a sheet, so we're gonna say sheet, and we're gonna use is presented option. So is presented, and we're gonna uh, supply binding value for add new presented, and for the content. Uh, so let me take this whole thing out, and uh, uh, for the content, uh, we are simply going to use trailing closure, like that. Okay, and uh, here we're gonna uh, call our add new present it. Oh, add new sheet. Okay, we're gonna call that for now. We're just simply gonna say text add new. Okay, let's go ahead and build and see if there's any issue. There's none. Okay, so let's continue forward. Uh, we're gonna come back to our uh, into our out of our v stack and uh, we're gonna create a list here and this list is going to have for each on self dot birthday 
vm dot purchase so we need purchase dot indices because um, we're gonna loop over its indices and this is gonna be identified by um, cell that's a hashable type and index int it's basically gonna have inside a z stack inside the z stack we're gonna have birthday cell and this birthday cell takes birthday view model so we're gonna simply say cell dot birthday view model dot birthday from index that we are currently on and add some shadow for the radius of 10 and then have a navigation link so this is how you actually uh, remove navigation that uh, right hand side um, arrow detail arrow for the navigation link so we can simply say destination um, and uh, we're gonna have this navigation is gonna take uh, user to update so we're gonna say update cell okay and um, now for the navigation link um, body we're gonna simply say empty view okay so what this is gonna do is this is gonna overlay an, a, a navigation link um, on the top of a birthday cell so um, basically user can tap on it so you get all the functionality for navigation link but it doesn't show up so it doesn't show the disclosure icon and stuff like that and we can show our own custom ui for the cell okay um okay so what we can do is uh we can actually give this uh navigation cell we, we need to give some properties to this actually so navigation bar does not show up so we're going to simply say navigation bar title is going to be empty and navigation bar hidden is true okay because we are providing our own navigation so that's why uh, we don't want to show that navigation right there and text we can update it with the update cell uh, so uh, don't worry about that one um, and then we're gonna have our button style plain style and this is gonna be plain uh, button style okay and this is gonna be basically this navigation stack is gonna have that uh, empty button style so let me it's the wrong place let me copy that or cut it from here and put it right here okay all uh, right um, so that's gonna be our um, Z stack and uh, right after our Z stack we have our for each and we're gonna have on delete basically on this which is gonna uh, perform a delete operation so let's go ahead and create a helper method uh, for our uh, delete uh, delete operation and uh, let's create a function delete at offsets index set and this is gonna loop over each index uh, that's pass in offset we are not providing multiple uh, delete so we know that hearts is gonna be the first one but we are simply gonna uh, iterate over it and in, in case in future we decide to allow user to delete multiple item and we also need to refresh data function so refresh data and we are simply gonna say self dot birthday view model dot fetch all birthdays and we're gonna call that on this delete function okay so back on back to on delete uh, we are going to perform delete here so we don't actually refresh data actually we don't need this so we can actually retype this and on delete perform we can actually simply say uh, write delete like that okay 
and uh, let's give let's give our list a background so list row background is gonna be a view of type linear gradient and uh, this gradient is gonna take colors color dot purple and color color dot blue like so okay starting point is going to be leading and end point is going to be trailing okay all right so with that we are also going to need on up here so we do want to show our user what we are um what we are presenting basically uh, or whenever a user actually launches the app we do want to refresh the data or we want to show the fresh data so that's what we are uh, going to do here um, and let's see on up here should happen on okay let me check my reference so z stack okay so this list how uh, we are going to move that inside this z stack actually so let's take this list and uh, move this inside the v stack actually there we go all right so list is inside the v stack and and then you have your list basically being closed and we can apply this on up here on the list itself on on the v stack um this v stack right here okay and then um what we're gonna do is uh we're gonna apply a background here and we're gonna just run in a minute uh, we have everything everything ready to go almost so let's go ahead and take this linear gradient in and i'm going to copy and paste that one all right and uh, there are a few more properties actually we need to set like navigation bar hidden is true for us because we are not using standard navigation bar navigation bar title is uh, blank and display mode is inline um and uh then we also need edges ignoring safe area is all okay so with that uh i think we have everything so let's go ahead and run this and see if we have um if we have a view that's actually showing up so that's good uh if we click on plus uh that actually shows us a uh, uh add new uh text okay so that's actually working fine um our view is looking good in the next video we should uh actually we 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 should add um we should add the functionality to add new birthdays that way we can actually add new birthday and start seeing them uh, that uh, those birthdays that have been persisted inside uh, the list okay so in the next video we're going to start creating our add new birthday functionality and that's going to be this button right here Okay, so I'll see you guys in the next video and that's what we're going to work on. Thank you.